should be kind of cool. Um, it looks kind of right up my street. Um, I see that there's ten levels of the game. Um, so you get, we get an idea of right, cover off how long it is. I don't think it's supposed to be very long. I think anywhere between two to three hours, I think, um, is the length of it. But um, it's made in the, um, um, I think it's the Unreal Engine, I think it is. I'm stop. Oh, hold on, okay. Let us go! This could be good. This could be hit and miss. It could be bad. We'll see. I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that it's going to be quite good. Hopefully we've got subtitles for the English, for the Russian speech, because there's no, there was no options in the options. There's nothing in the options to turn subs on, so I hope there are subs if they're talking in Russian. That looks like a train coming. I would get out of the way. Doing sound design. Definitely not a good idea um, to get on that train. So I guess we got fished out by someone or rescued by someone in a little boat. If we're playing the same character that was on that train, at least. I'm not sure if we are, if it's the same character or not, or someone else. But probably someone else, I guess. Maybe we're someone that's going in to investigate what was actually happening. Wow, oh, we'll, we'll soon see, I hope so. Otherwise we'll be guessing what they're saying. I think mean, you are a um, detective of... You're, you're kind of a, like an ex-detective ex or like private investigator, I believe, Kimball. I think I know which one you mean. There was a game... Um, I think I know which one you're referring to where you're a safety inspector. Um, I can't remember what it's called, though, but I, I, I do know which one you mean. Uh, year 2050. Earth climate charts start changing. Natural disasters follow one after another. Tornadoes destroy cities and kill me. My name is Tom. I used to be a private detective. But in this world, I'm just a drifter. Going from one house to another, looking for food in a place to sleep. I recently come across an abandoned military checkpoint. I found a map showing some bunker named U7 with survivors. It's getting cold every day and my only hope is that it's not warmer. I don't have a choice but to go there. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so we're looking for a bunker to get survivors. How did you find a place where I can warm up and rest to continue my journey? Level one. Fourteen thirty. Rain. So it's raining. I mean, it looks nice. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure when I re was reading through the Steam, it. I'm sure it said it was the uh, Unreal Engine. I'm sure it is what it was. Absolutely. Oh, I got to the skin. If I'm outside for a long enough, I can freeze to death. And there's a building right here we can go into. Then. What is that? What was that that popped up? Is it like an interface that popped up briefly? Left button mouse. Right, that's good enough. Oh, all right. It's not a very nice looking place, but we can make this work, right? 
Seems this fish is rotting. What a smell. No, you zapach. Yeah, yeah, I know which I know which one you mean, Kim. I just said I forgot what it was called, but I know which one you mean. Why is why is a gnome? Oh, hey little fella. Why is why is he stuffed behind a uh, thing? Oh. Судя по всему, it здесь like водится крупная fish. рыба. С удовольствием бы порыбачил. Пустые клетки для лобстеров. Ничего интересного. Now are you a fool? I mean, he was saying he wanted to get inside to get some cover to to dry off. Now this looks like perfect place to get, to dry off and get some cover, right? But I got a feeling he's not going to be happy he's chilling here because um. But is that another gnome? Is that a gnome buried? It looks like it could be. Oh, we can jump! Cool. Okay, we can jump. I like being able to jump. Can we get a fishing rod? No, I guess no. I guess we got to push on. It does. It does look um. Definitely looks um, very up to us. I mean, we. I'm getting about um, 80 to 90 FPS. I'm pretty steady in 80 to 90 FPS. I would imagine it doesn't smell very nice. And we don't know how long this place has been like this, but looking at the fish, I mean, I would imagine they've not been hanging up there too too long. You know, no more than, I don't know, a week, maybe a bit longer. But the rest of this place, oh my God. But these fish, I mean, if they've been up there for a long time, a day would look a bit in a worse state than that. Alright, see if we can, um... There's a... If there's a bigger house somewhere we can go to. I mean, the fishing rods instead out with it, with the chairs, so you can... It's the kind of thing that, um, someone was here not so long ago. Ah, we got to go to the house, I guess. Hello, oh, Amarok. We've got a big house to head to. I mean, the weather was it been like this here in the last couple of days. It's been raining like this. Maybe not with as much lightning, but um, but it's definitely been raining heavy like this. I'm guessing those barriers are there for a reason to stop us from jumping off. Happy Friday, Amrock. What was? What beacon noises? Was that a zombie? some life here which is good right Us. Okay, so we just saw us. Where, where that dude that we just saw with a backpack, I guess, right? So based on the credits, um, the credits had three, three names listed as voice for voice um, actors. So I'm guessing there's three main characters in the game, or three guys that are main, you know, that are voiced characters. Jesus, he's got pretty studly hands. Right, I'm getting warmed by the fire. Okay. So the game obviously pushed me forward at that point. Um, we had that little um, sequence and we got pushed forward down here. We can't go back. So I mean, it's, it's been very linear so far. I mean, it's, uh, the walking simulators go, I, I prefer it to be a little bit linear because, I mean, it's, it's good to explore, but um, having the, it pushing you in a specific direction will make sure you, you actually don't get lost, if you know what I'm saying. And getting lost is something I do do a lot. 
I would too if I had the opportunity. Yeah, I smogu this place. I cannot sleep here. Why not? Is it another gnome? What is it with a gnomes? Contact. Request. What approved. is it with a gnomes? Is a brad Thank you. Bloody, um, what is it with gnomes? I just pretty much each each like area we're going in, we're seeing these garden gnomes everywhere. There's got to be some sort of um. Ah, oh, can we sleep in the tent? There's got to be some sort of reason for these gnomes. No, there's nothing in the tent apart from gnomes. Now look at that. There's there's three. And wait, 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 wait. Oh, look, look, look at this. There's three gnomes in the bed, right? In the tent. Two of them are standing over another one, which is laying down with what looks like blood stains around it. So those two gnomes have killed the third gnome. And you gotta say. There's definitely something going on with gnomes. Yeah, Mark, what the hell, right? We got a dead gnome. And hello. Hello, Mark. And tell her, yeah, they're standing. But if the thing is there, I mean, tell her, tell her where it is. They're standing over the course of a gnome, but did they, did they, did they kill this gnome? Or is, did they just stumble upon this, upon this gnome? Look at her on the moon. Did they kill the gnome? Well, I've got a feeling we might find out that the bad guy in this in this game is going to be a gnome. So there's a building over there, and that's probably where we're going to have to go. And we can go up there. Let's look around. Let's look this way first. Garden gnomes. One had like a box. Uh, had uh, had like a box. Is having one look like look like a lantern or something, right? Well, it looks like a present, doesn't it? It looks like a, a gift, like a wrapped present. It could be the one on the left. It looks like a little. You, you get like a, a, a Christmas present or something wrapped up with like a bow with like ribbon around it. That's what it looked like. The bad guy could well be in there. So now you kind of get to the point where it's like, which way do we go? We can go this way. We can go that way. We can go that way. Не открывается. Oh, I'm guessing we could probably got to find something to um, unbust the lock with. Wait, there's another user icon there. Oh, maybe not. So we're going to find something to bust that lock open with. You can't run through the fence. We can run this way. I mean, like, the game is letting us just run around aim aimlessly. How far can we run before we get? Oh, okay. The fence is up there. I got a good. I got a good idea. You're not really going to be able to have to do much here. But you never know. There's a gap in the fence. Um, there's more. Fuck. Okay. So this this area is letting us run around and is pretty big. The door is broken. The door is broken. I kind of think to myself that there's um, loads of areas back where we came from that we could explore. And the bald guy is... What? Is an animal? Oh, that house has a light on. Hmm. Hang on, if that house has got a light on, then that's likely where we got to go, which means i got to go back the other way and see what we missed. Ah, that's it. The fuck? The use, the use icon seems to be a small glitch. Yeah. Yeah, I think when you walk past something, and I think I've noticed that now, is when you you get a use icon on a screen, when you walk away from something that you cl you can click on, briefly it flashes back up like for a split second and goes away. We'll test it when we, when we come back up to something, but I'm, I'm sure that's like a little bit of a glitch. See what's in this building here because that building down there has got well all right the, what's left of this building the building back down there had a light on which means there's probably someone in there which means it's probably our objective 
But why don't wander around just in case we see something? I mean, like a football, right? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. C to crouch. Oh, okay. You need to crouch to be able to push it along. Okay. Um, hopefully, we haven't got to take this somewhere because if we do, it's going to be bloody slow carrying it around like this, pushing it around while crouching. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Let's go. I want to get the other way, man. The other way. Damn it. We pushed it into a corner. I can't get out of the corner. Ow, bollocks. Let's hope that ball isn't important because we pushed it into a corner. Alright, we'll see what's up here and then we'll go back into go back to that building. There's probably gonna be nothing up here apart from being blocked. Okay, yeah, that's blocked. That's where we started. Alright, so let's go. Let's go look at that house with a light on. It does look good though, I mean it's hopefully the story holds up. Um but like it does the environments look good, it's and it performs very, very well. I mean running through this forest here I get about hundred, I got V Sync off. Um and it's running about hundred. I, I normally run with V Sync off on, unless I see tearing, um just to get an idea of what sort of performance I can get from it and it's doing about hundred frames per second. I'm not sure what happened with that tree though. Did, did lightning strike that tree and it fell down? Maybe. Uh oh. I got another tractor over here. Is that another house here? Let's. See if there's just lying here. Let's go and have a look in that house. Look in this one over here, then we'll go look in the one with a light on. Well, leave the one with a light on till last, because because it's got a light, it may well be um, somewhere we need to go. Although, saying that, I'm not, it's a bit typical. You get these Russian games, and you get these these Russian, very Russian-looking cars. I mean, it looks it looks like an old larder. All oh, those light in there as well. Okay. Let's go look at. Let's go to this house first. Yeah, it just definitely looks. It definitely seems to um, gel together very well. I mean, the good thing as well. I mean, it came out yesterday. This game came out yesterday. They've already had one patch. They had a patch. They had a patch out like a few hours after launch to fix some to fix some issues that people were having, um, and that's pretty good, right? You know, launch day patches for indie games is it's kind of uncommon. Похоже, the door's locked. No one seems to be home. Now, it would have been nicer if, if when he knocked on the door, you saw his hand knock on the door, but... No. I'll be picky. I'll be picky. This looks like a great place for us to skip down for the night. Yes, it does. Is that someone? Is that a sleeping bag with someone in it? Maybe. Well, I look at those. Look at the curtains. And what's that use icon for? There's so much stuff in here, but nothing useful. There's loads of lamps. How can you say there's nothing useful? Look at all these lamps. You could definitely pick one up. Whoa. That's dark. Ah, there's a sleeping bag left just there for us. So it's an em empty like um, hut with a sleeping bag ready for us. What the hell? Where am I? Where am I? Um. Level two. Okay. Foggy. Midnight. Foggy. Minus ten. Mm. Model airplanes. 
что, ничего интересного сегодня не покажут? Anything good on TV today? It doesn't look like it. So, I did think at first when we was waking up that maybe we were in a flashback or something, um, to something before this, you know, these events happened. But then looking around, no, this place is just is wrecked to shit by the storm. Um, what the hell? Oh my God! Loads of VHS tapes. Any VHS tapes? Yeah, no VHS tapes. I was. What is on them? What? This is where it got interesting for you. What? You start. I'm kind of wondering what is going on upstairs, or in, you know, based on those noises, is something going on here? We can just stay in this room here, and we'll be fine. Nothing's going to get us. The kitchen looks awful. I don't even know what it is. It's just a dirty kitchen. So did you just say nope? I'm out because you you didn't want to play anymore because it was scurry. Right. So we could go. This this there's no door here. There's doors there. I should. I'm thinking I should actually try to open those doors before we wander out there just to see. Спирта на ключ. Мне ее не открыть. Да. Was... Was there someone just standing there, or would you think that was a graphic glitch? What? Was I... I did see someone there, but I'm not sure if, it was, if that was a glitch, or if that's supposed to be someone standing there. I'll just pretend it's a glitch because then it then it's not creepy. And why why can't we have a flashlight, please? Because it's a bit dark and it's a bit dark. Oh well, hello. Um Hi. Creepy man in the bathroom. I when we step into this bathroom, is he going to start chasing us? I'm not sure about this light flickering effect. It's a bit, um... It's just a little bit much, I think. What is going to happen? What? So this is, this is where you got, Gemma. Um, and Hamrock says, "This is where you would quit too. He, he might be. He might turn around and be a happy clown." Uh, what is going to happen? The thing is, that if there's a jump scare here, you know it's intended to be a jump scare here, right? You know it's. An, this is an intended jump scare. If it's a jump scare, give him a kiss. I'd, I'd like to stay. He's got to turn around. He's just standing there. What is going on? All right, you, you get these points in games where you know that there's a jump coming, but you still jump. A little bit. I only jumped a little bit, but we did jump a little bit. What? You knew that was going to happen though, right? Uh, and now we're in, in the same room, but it's pitch black. So the light went off. That wasn't so bad, though. You know what I'm waiting for is the spiders, because I, I was reading I was reading about spiders on Steam. Can someone explain what's going on? What is this happening? Oh, the door's open now. Okay. 
Can we watch Teletubbies? I mean, that wasn't so bad, but it was, it was, it was perfectly expected, Mark, wasn't it? I mean, you knew that was going to happen. You knew that there was going to be a jump there. But, you know, you, you still jump a little. Right. Can we just go and hide under here? Just sit in the corner and hide. We just sit here and just wait for whoever's out there to go away. So the, the thing is, though, the fact that this whoever this guy was in the bathroom, he's probably run off and he's opened the door for us. So, yeah. so he's kind of leading us, right? Um. So we got near the door and it closed, and now it looks like we're in a different. Wait. Is there something over there? There's... Uh, there was something over there, I'm sure there was. So, we're in the same building, the same room, but it's a different layout. So the, there's a cabinet here in the kitchen that went around, and it's gone. I mean, over there where the light is, is probably where the game wants us to go. Can we go in the bathroom? No, that door's locked. We can only go one way, one place. Over here where we saw something running. I'm trying to look behind the cupboard to see if we can see anything. We can't. That was... It's when you... I think I like I like it when they do things like that, Stack. Of course, rather than just having something... Um, you know, you get these games where you get these, like, this scary little girl that just appears in the, the distance and you think, what the fuck is that? But like this, when he does it like that, where you just see, you see something out of the corner of your eye run across the room and it's like, did I really see that? You know what I mean? It, it just makes you start thinking. Alright, so look, we see the shadow from the TV and I'm kind of wondering, as we walk in here, are we going to see something behind, a shadow behind us or something? We don't have any, um lights or anything. Why don't we have a torch? I mean, there's nothing over there at all, right? So... Uh, there's nothing here. So how, what, what the hell is going on? So, I'm confused. What is going on? So we walk into the... As you get into certain areas, like I said, these rooms, the, the, the locations are changing automatically. But what the fuck, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, we definitely did here. We we kind of the other times it's happened, we've we've been in exactly the same area, but it's just it's been slightly different laid out. We're in a totally different room now, which makes you wonder how do we get here? Who did it? Who did it? Oh, it's teaching us how to jump. pick this up and take it with us. This lamp. I'd love that. Hang on, we should... This is walk speed up. Have we got a, we got a, a walk at really slow speed? Your wife, your wife found something really disturbing today, am I right? What? She's 12, huh? It was to the man in the mask who stands in my room. And, oh my god. Where's a spider? Um. Okay, there's the spiders. That spider looked pretty big. 
Um, but yeah, hammer on. That's pretty. Um, I, I saw the spider walking down the hallway. But I said something that would definitely happen. Tell him. Is because as we're, I'm kind of looking around at chat. But yeah, I can imagine that being really um, freaky, Hammerock. The spider went that way. Well, maybe, I don't know which way to go. That spider looked pretty big though, right? Hey, we got a we got a broken flashlight. Maybe we can find a battery. We'll get a use. We'll better use it. We just need a battery, man. We just need a battery. <sighs> ah, there's a figure at the end of the hallway. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a few, a couple of things before that where we see something just in a distance wandering around, so I'm guessing that may well happen again. Because like, when it's a, a place like this where I'm expecting nothing to happen, that's where I'll check chat, if you know what I mean. Yeah, a nanny cam, Hamrock, seems like a good idea. Maybe she's maybe it's just um, she's having weird dreams or something. I do get cu I'm curious, I mean, is it something... Is it something you questioned her about? Did you ask her about that hammer up? I'm kind of curious what, um, you know, if she, did she say it? Does it seem like it's a dream kind of thing? But obviously some sort of cam would be interesting. I mean, how secure is... I mean, do you think there's a chance that someone could get in at night? If you know what I mean? You can't put... Well, you keep the batteries in your drawer to the right of your stove. Okay. I wonder what happened to that big ass spider. Right or left? I don't know. Let's go left because right, do you want me to right looks bigger. <sighs> That's kind of weird. I mean, it could just be something that, um, it could just be something that, um, you know, kids see, like a, I don't know, I mean, kids have, I mean, I know I didn't see people in my room or anything, but I mean, most, a lot of kids have, like, imaginary friends, stuff like that. Maybe something like that. I mean, that would be the good, the good thing it could be, right? Right, F, okay. F is like a use button, but on what? F doesn't do anything, okay? It doesn't do anything. Hey, we can put a, we can put a lamp on it. Ah, oh, okay. I see. It would be an int. I don't know if you if you use the F to open something, then it would be nice if you had a um. A, a crosshair or something, or a dot in the middle of the screen to see where you got a point to, um, if you know what I mean. Aussies don't get scared of stuff, Zagas. So, I mean, this drawer is just open. I'm trying to open it again just to see where about you've got to get on the screen for it to work, and I can't. I can't figure out exactly where on the screen you got to go to to hit it off. Because we open one drawer, which makes me think that the other's probably open, but tap in the F key. Oh. There's probably like weird um, placement of the, of the cursor to get it to open. Maybe you got to be a lot closer. Ah, fuck knows. Damn it, you know there's probably going to be something in one of those drawers that you need to use.
no. I keep hearing sounds which which I think is like, um, you know, a spider walking around behind me. Surely it's not, but it could be. No, put it back on. Make sure F is a flashlight when you get the batteries. What did we do to open it? Oh, okay. I get it. I thought F was a use button. It's not. It's a flashlight button. Uh, left mouse button opens opens this shit up. Okay. Oh, okay. That looks like batteries, right? Why do you need them for your freaking torch? So we got batteries and we got a torch. Can we? How do we use the batteries and a torch? Damn it! Is there an infantry key? I guess not. I guess not. Alright. We got batteries and we got a broken torch. Where's the monkey? He's scared. Garage Nation. He's scared. That's why he had his he had his hands covering his eyes when I took the picture, because he didn't want to play. But he's chilling over here next to me here look. So you grab something, but what? What is an inventory? It's gonna be an inventory key or something that we can use to see what we're picking up. Surely. Oh, hello. He's down the end. That's kind of freaky, Hamrock. That's just a little bit freaky. Sure, we're hearing footsteps. Could be spider foot footsteps. We saw a spider, and I'm kind of waiting for it to come back. I mean, that gap under that door is definitely small enough for a spider to walk in. There it is. Ненавижу пауков. I hate spiders. You're not the only one. Look at Hey, little spider. He's quite big, isn't he? Why is this game Russian? Um, it's made by Russian devs. Um, and they've only got Russian um, voiceovers. They haven't got no English um, translation like voiceovers. Um, it's made by Russians. There are quite a few Russian, um, oh look, he's over there. There are quite a few Russian like, in indie games like this that have Russian only voices. I mean, we, had, we played one last week, and which was um, called 35mm, which was the same. It was like Russian voices on just English subs. Oh look, he does have something in his hand. And why is he, why? Wait, he's putting his hand up to go through the cobwebs, is he? Ah, okay. Well, he's putting his hand up to block where we're walking, and um, as we get to the other end and he moves his hand out of the way, he's going to be something in front of it. So we got basically, we've, as, a, as, a, as a guy, we've been seeing wandering around and a, a spider and a rat. I thought it was a footsteps, but it wasn't footsteps, it's this thing in the, the wind. I 
guess we've got to find something to put in here. Outside, man. This isn't quite um, everybody goes to the rapture style of um, blank, you know, um, sheets on that are tied up. Because it did go when we pushed it, we pushed it through the iron, great iron, iron like gate. They would break you. They will break you. There's some sense in ah, oh, there's some sense here. Ah, oh, always oh, the show controls here. What? Ah, uh, sound settings. And what video sound settings? What is that? So this, the video sound settings has got zero. That seems a bit much. So it goes up to. Hang on, let's put that up a little bit. I don't know what that is. We've seen some videos, but we and they, the videos have had sound in them. Um, and what's it? Let me look at the controls. Graphic settings. Uh, okay, so we got more. This. This. Hang on. The resolution is not 1280 by. It's set at 19. It's not set on that, it's set at 1080 at the moment. So yeah, the options in the main menu obviously differ to these. Um, uh, yeah, that's going to make absolutely no difference because that's what it is already. Uh, detail quality. I can't click on that, damn it! Stereo 3D settings, flip eyes, yes or what? Flip eyes for stereo 3D output, what? Is that going to make you cross-eyed? Um, and it's going to make you cross-eyed if you flip your eyes. And hammer on, that would be kind of interesting. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit curious in a creepy way. Right, okay. Controls. Ow! Oh, I don't have control, I've got a keyboard. Keyboard, yes. Oh, we can't, we can't actually see what the controls are. I don't want to invert shit. So I mean, it says I like invert X and Y, but invert the Y axis. I know it isn't inverted, but so I'm guessing these controls don't really do anything, right? Because the controls weren't inverted, and yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we've played it um, probably about 40, 30 minutes or so, full of fashion, about half an hour. We're in the second second part of ten at the moment. What did we pick up? I don't know what we picked up, but I'd like to see an inventory or something. I don't think we have one. No, let's let's bash on some keys a minute, see if we can What was it? Tab maybe? No. No, we got no inventory. Whatever it is that picked up, that's got to get us through that gate, I think. Any goal? I we're basically an investigator. I'm not quite sure what we're investigating. Um. Um. There are spiders. Can we get our pipe back, please? Can we take it back, please? We can't take it back. Why don't you pull it out and other spiders dead? See, so, yeah, so basically we're an ex-private investigator, like ex-detective, and I think it's um, it's like a near future we're in. It's like 2050, I think it was, and um, where there's some some crazy um, uh, climate change which is kind of taking, having very bad effects on the planet, and we're just trying to get. S you know, we're just trying to get some and um, survive, really. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to live and survive. You're pregnant. Well, so, okay, the spiders aren't really scary, are they? But we lost our weapon, man. I can't believe we can't pull it back out. That, that would be, um... That thing would definitely be able to mate with your face more. It's, it was big enough. It's very, um... 
It's really good looking. It is a very cool looking game. Perfect atmosphere for fucking scary stories, lol. <laughs> lol. I didn't have a spider! Is this an alpha? No, it's, it's not. It, it came out. It didn't come out of access or anything, as far as I could, as far as I recall. It just, it just got released. It's spider eggs, I guess, right? Is that what I? I think it just came out. Um, I mean, it only came out yesterday, follow. Um, I think it's, there's already been there's already been one patch since it came out, which is a good thing, right? One, you know, on release day there was a patch, um, to based on player feedback on day one. So that's that to me is pretty good for like an indie game like this. So I mean there probably will be, um, because it's, it's a game that went full release, there may well be some little um, bugs and issues, but um, I mean it's an established engine using 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 CryEngine and it's, um, I thought it was Unreal at first, but it's, it is CryEngine, I mean the, the menu here tells you it's got a default CryEngine logo. Um, it's a very, very established engine. We're still holding something in our hands, so maybe if we get another spider, we do have a way to kill it. I mean, you see, there's, a, there's some like glitches there. The water looks a bit glitchy at the end. The reflections. Uh oh, Mr. Master Man again. Hey, I don't want any troubles. I need to know where I am. Mammal Lord over there with a the mask. Um, that is a big fucking spider. Um, 